Hey guys, I'm back for another video, and this is definitely a deviation from my normal content. Today, I am announcing the beginning of probably the most difficult challenge I've ever put my body through in my entire life. And in my past, I've live streamed for 24 hours straight, I've played Bed Wars for 24 hours straight and gotten 156 wins, I've eaten a ghost pepper, I've gone camping out in negative degrees temperatures, but today, today, <laughs> I made up a challenge, which is a combination of two challenges, and I am going to do everything in my power to make it a thing. So, what is this stupid challenge, as the title says? Well. I am going to be doing, well, I've already started, today was the first day. I am doing the Sayatama One Punch Man Challenge plus a dietary restriction. So, what does this mean? Well, I'm only allowed to drink Soylent for my calories. That means no food, that means no snacking, that means no special drinks, no sodas, no juices nothing except for g fuel because i need my caffeine in the morning and it doesn't add any calories anyway but anyways um yeah so a <laughs> hundred push-ups a hundred sit-ups a hundred squats and a 10 kilometer run every single day for 30 days a month and today was the first day as of recording this it'll be uploaded tomorrow and I'm only allowed to drink Soylent, so I'm not eating any solid food for a month as well. I know this challenge is kind of dumb. <laughs> Honestly, it is pretty dumb. As far as the fitness world is concerned, there's a lot of people that are probably scared for me. But rest easy, everybody. I know the biggest problem with this challenge, and it's people's knees. Well, luckily, I already bike 9 miles a day to get to work. And I did some quick research online. And biking three miles equals roughly one mile of running. So, nine miles a day means three miles taken off my running time. So, uh, 10 kilometers is roughly 6.2 miles. So, I only have to run 3.2 miles a day, which should be a lot easier on my knees because um, biking is low impact. So, that's nice. And the equipment at the gym I'm going to is very nice as well. The sit-ups aren't going to hurt my knees either because it's got like those roller things. If at any point I feel like I'm actually going to hurt myself, I will stop, but it's been day one. Sure, I'm tired, uh, but I'm fine. Tomorrow I'm probably going to be sore AF, but you know what, I'm going to keep going anyways. But yeah, that's the challenge, and I know it's weird to announce this over a voiceover. You would think I would start having panning shots of... Um, the before pictures or whatever but don't worry i'm doing all of that i'm gonna make the high edited video for when all this is done uh but I'll, I'll record a bunch of footage anyways so i am going to be uploading multiple times a day to my instagram with progress towards this challenge i would advise that every single one of you watching this video follow me on instagram so you can track my progress and most importantly egg me on to keep going if there's anything that motivates me it is when the subscribers tell me to do it when there's people constantly there rooting for me telling me not to stop even if things get tough just to keep going and to make fun of me when i do something wrong i like, just do it <laughs> Just do it is the voice in my head that keeps going constantly, but I need to hear that from the outside as well So I'd greatly appreciate if you guys were there for me on Instagram to keep me up to, uh, to keep me motivated for this challenge and uh, Some of you are probably wondering like Brandon. Why are you doing this? Like well, it's multiple reasons a couple psychological Well, it's all psychological basically uh, not only would it make cool YouTube content, I'm not going to go into detail, but you know, last summer, around August, something very depressing happened in my life, and I took a huge dive in self-esteem. Uh, it was a breakup. I'm not going to go any further than that, but it was a breakup. Uh, <laughs> so, I have been spending a long time being self-conscious about my body, and with this challenge, my number one goal is to lose weight which means I'm going to limit the calories I take in, which is why Soylent is part of the equation. You can count exactly how many calories you're consuming, which is very important. So no um, 
calories sneaking their way into my diet through snacking or whatever. It's just straight up soiling. Make sure to follow on the Instagram. And I can't wait 30 days from now to start editing this crazy video. Oh my God, it's gonna be insane. <laughs> and I can only imagine what's gonna happen with my body. Anyway, that is it. So <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys later.